Batman Arkham City is one of the best Batman games of all time and my personal favorite Arkham game, so I had to get the platinum for it. What I didn't know is that Arkham City's Platinum was going to be way harder than I expected. The game begins with Hugo Strange spouting off some nonsense about Protocol 10, saying how it's going to be his legacy. Cool story, bro, but Bruce Wayne is captured and I need to escape. After making my way through a prison, I'm attacked by Penguin and his goons. Luckily, I'm Batman, so I easily beat up the goons and uppercut Penguin. Can I punch the Penguin? <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I didn't realize you could punch the penguin. He'll definitely feel that in the morning. After my brutal assault on Penguin, I make my way up to the rooftops and ask my old buddy Alfred if he can Amazon Prime down a bat suit for me. He does. I suit up and we get our first trophy of the game. It's time. Suit up. I'm Batman. Suiting up. We then find out Catwoman's being held hostage in the courthouse by Two-Face. So, we drop by, beat up some of his bad guys, and stop him. What's up, dudes? I'm Batman. Hold on, Catwoman. I'm busy. Nine lives, remember? Acid bath. Cut me down! Fight us like a man! No, I don't think I will. After dealing with our business in the courthouse, we need to find Joker. But first, we need to play catch with this guy watching us from the rooftops. So what we gotta do here is take this remote control battering and throw it at this guy. Catch! <laughs> hey friend. In our search for Joker, we make our way to a church, and instead of finding Jesus, we find Harley Quinn and some thugs, who are holding prisoners hostage. Of course, we had to stop them. I vanish. Oh, here we go. With my legs? Later. Okay. Double takedown? Yo, nice. Yo, Batman. Thanks for the help. No problem, Aaron Cash. Oh, and Savior. We saved everyone. Yay. Look at us. I'm Batman. On my way to Harley Quinn and Joker's hideout, I picked up a side quest from Bane to destroy six Titan canisters around the city. Distress Flare. I then channel my inner Santa Claus and fly into the hideout via the chimney. Chimney sweep. Once inside, I'm ambushed by Joker's thugs. Yeah! Oh, get punched, one-armed bandit. Once they are defeated, we actually find out there are two Jokers, and then we get knocked out by Harley Quinn. Meanwhile, Catwoman's getting into an altercation with Poison Ivy. Oh my god, they're spinning out goo? Oh my god, the goo. Arkham City Sirens. We dropped in on an old friend. I just need your help. After some time passes, we are back to Batman and find out the Joker has poisoned him and the only person that can cure us is Mr. Freeze. Unfortunately, only the Penguin knows where Mr. Freeze is and has decided to lock himself inside of the local museum. Before we can even get into the museum to confront him, we need to destroy three radio jammers. Communication breakdown. With all three radio jammers destroyed, we make our way into the museum only to be ambushed by Penguin again. Seriously, what's up with Batman villains and ambushes? Of course, we do what we always do and beat up some bad guys. All right, listen up, prisoners. It isn't going to end well. I'm the main character. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, punch, punch, punch. Let's go, Gladiator. 
we finally catch up to Penguin and Shoryuken him off a balcony. Before we can celebrate our victory, Penguin sends out Solomon Grundy, who was born on a Monday, by the way, to fight us. Oh my lord. Nope. I'm beating up Solomon Grundy, dude. Obviously. Yeah. Punch him. Oh. Don't do it. Okay, you did it. What is that? Flaming larva? What's going on here? Oh, God. Okay. Solomon Grundy, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to put explosives down, dude. Okay. Whoa. Oh, you didn't like that one, did you, big fella? I'm just gonna give you a couple of love taps here. Yes! Wrecking ball. But I did, because I'm Batman. With the penguin finally defeated once and for all, Mr. Freeze says he can't make a cure for Batman without a certain enzyme. Luckily, Batman knows someone with that enzyme, Raz al Ghul. So, we follow one of his assassins deep underground, fight some ninjas, and make it to a secret underground city where Raz al Ghul lives. Lost and found. Once we find Raz al Ghul, we have to fight him to prove ourselves worthy to gather this enzyme. Oh, he just summons a bunch of little clay monsters? How original. Oh, okay. This is nothing. This is nothing. Okay, except for that. That kind of hurts. Just running back and forth. Oh, I keep running into the into the blades. I keep running into the blades. If you can dodge a blade, you can dodge a ball. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, dude. Chill, chill, dude. Chill out. What do you think this is like a boss battle or something? Oh, we're countering. We're countering. Triangle for the win. Uh, beat down. Oh my god, dude, he's going Super Saiyan on his ass. Holy crap. Batman just beat the crap out of an old man. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh-oh. <gasps> Watch me mess this up. Reverse battering. No way. <laughs> he just let that happen. Sandstorm. <laughs> With Raz al Ghul defeated, we extract his blood for the enzyme and take it back to Mr. Freeze. To no one's surprise, Mr. Freeze betrays us and a fight breaks out between him and Batman. This is actually one of the cooler fights in the game, no pun intended, because you have to use different forms of takedowns and attacks to defeat him. Oh, you can glide kick him? Oh, dude, sick. Yes, yes. You've activated my trap card. It didn't work. Oh my goodness, my trap card didn't work, guys. Silent takedown. Yeah. Punch. Eat it, you frozen trash can. Oh. For taking my wife. Oh, from the vents. Oh, Batman, you're punching air. Batman, there we go. Right here. Oh, ho, ho. I'm Batman. Oh. Get out of here. Yes, 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 yes. Punch, punch him, do it, die. Hide and seek. Deadly game of hide and seek. Go to sleep, Freeze. After defeating Freeze, him and Batman resolve their differences and decide to help each other. Turns out while they were fighting, Harley Quinn stole the last antidote for the poison that is affecting Batman and the Joker. So we head back to Joker's lair and have an epic battle between him and a ton of his thugs. Soon after the fight, Batman is smothered by rubble caused from an explosion by Hugo Strange Protocol 10. Meanwhile, Catwoman is sneaking around through Two-Face's vault and stealing his diamonds. Pick 
pocket. Steal the score of a lifetime. After beating up a ton of dudes, she sees Batman in trouble and decides to go rescue him. With Batman saved, he makes his way up the tower where Hugo Strange is hiding. After sneaking around and taking out bad guys, we confront Strange. Turns out he was working with Ra's al Ghul to destroy the city with Protocol 10. Ra's al Ghul betrays Strange, shocker. So Strange activates Protocol 11, which is to blow up the tower. Batman and Ra's jump out of the building and Ra's has a terrible time. Oh my God. Free fall. Damn. He ain't gonna be in rush hour three. Holy crap. Now, the last thing we needed to do for the campaign was to defeat Joker. Turns out, Joker was being impersonated by Clayface this whole time. And the real Joker is actually dying from the Titan effects from the first game. One epic boss fight later, and Clayface is defeated. Exit stage right. Whoa, Batman, calm down there, badass. Dang, dude, look at you. And the real Joker dies due to the poison he's afflicted with. Batman carries Joker's body out to the police and disappears into the night. Man, what a story, huh? The next step was to complete all the side missions. Now, most of these were just pretty basic beat up the bad guys side quests, but there are a couple side missions I want to highlight. The first being these AR missions. You basically have to fly through these rings without touching the ground, but I actually struggle with these more than I should have probably. This is going to be a nightmare. Uh, no, don't land on there, Batman. Dang it, dude. All right. Yep. Hit that. Fly around. Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, uh, no. I barely missed it. Hold up. Yes. 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 Let's go. <laughs> Augmented reality training. Oh my gosh. Put it with the bullets. Okay, you have bullets. Jeez. Oh. Ah. Ah. Come on. Let's go. Dive bomb. Ah. Oh. 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 Yes. Yeah. AR night. I'm going to die. Yeah, pretty embarrassing stuff. But the worst side mission by far is the Riddlers. So the Riddler has four hostages you have to save to fully complete his side mission. But in order to save them, you have to collect these Riddler trophies and secrets around the map, as well as complete some specific combat challenges. It doesn't sound too bad, right? But did I mention that there are 400 of these freaking things? 400, that's four with two zeros after it. This took me so long. I never want to see another Riddler trophy again in my life. You think the Joker is the real bad guy of the story? No, it's the Riddler. I hate this guy. Another one. Trophy. Trophy. Go! <laughs> uh, trophy! So many trophies! After hours of grinding, I finally collected all 400 trophies, saved all four hostages the Riddler had, and made it into Riddler's lair to finally stop him and put an end to my misery. Here we go. Goodbye, Riddler. Yeah, that's what you get for all those trophies, you bastard! 440 of them! 
Oh! Genius! Rescue all the hostages from the Riddler. Oh my god! You suck, Riddler, you suck! 440 trophies, dude? 440? Thank god I never have to do that ever again. <laughs> oh, Riddler's done. Riddler is done. After doing a couple of cool side missions, like meeting Calendar Man on every holiday of the year, which you do by changing the date on your console, which is really easy on the PS5, which is awesome, and paying respects to where Batman's parents got killed, I finished up the Harley Quinn DLC, which was okay at best, but there was one trophy I went for during the DLC that gave me some trouble. So for the trophy, you have to try and use all of Robin's gadgets in one combo. In hindsight now, this would be way easier for me after playing for like dozens of hours. But at the time, I still really sucked at combat, so I got stuck on this trophy. I would either forget which gadget I needed, or sometimes Robin would just punch the air for no reason, which ruined my combo. But most of the time, it was just me being really bad at the game and getting hit by bad guys. No, you ruined my combo, dude. Shield bash? Dude. Oh. Uh. When we're finished with you. Where's Batman City now, Robin? Everyone wants you dead, Robin. We're here to do it. Yes, gadget attack. Use five different quick fire gadgets in one fight. Hell yeah. Oh, and a few new tricks. Use five different quick fire gadgets in one fight as Robin and Harley Quinn's revenge. Oh. So that takes out both of them. Now it's time for everyone's favorite thing in the Arkham series. The combat challenges. But before we get into those, first, I need to get a combat specific trophy in these challenges. This trophy is called Free Flow 2.0, and it's similar to the last trophy we just did, except instead of gadgets, I had to do every single one of these specific moves that you see on the screen in one combo. I don't know about you guys, but I can't even remember what I ate for dinner last night. So trying to remember which move I needed while also getting the crap kicked out of me was a real challenge. There were a couple of times where I thought I finally did it, but I must have forgot like one move or something because the trophy didn't pop. I'm pretty sure this trophy by itself took me about an hour and a half to do. Get a takedown. Okay, I gotta think, I gotta think, I gotta think. What haven't I done already? Oh my gosh. All right, back claw slam. To a stun, to a jump. Oh! All right, stun, counter, dodge. Do one of these, do one of these. Dude! Break that, break that. Dude, enough with the knives already, man. Come on. What did I miss? What? What move did I miss? Dude, okay. I don't know what I'm missing, but I feel like that last run was like literally perfect. Ground takedown. Yes! 
free flow 2.0 yes oh man <laughs> i have no idea how i kept missing one but thank god it's over with oh my god that trophy is brutal with that trophy out of the way, it was time to start Riddler's Revenge and get into the combat challenges. The first step was the ranked challenge maps. These consist of combat maps and predator maps. In the combat maps, you basically just have to get a high score to get all three medals to complete it. The easiest way is just to build up a high combo and not get hit, essentially. These were the easier of the two ranked maps. Predator maps are stealth maps, and each map has three different objectives you need to do in order to get all three medals. Now, both the combat and the predator maps have the normal versions of them, and then later on, there are the extreme versions, which are just harder in every way. You'll need a higher score for the combat challenges, and the stealth objectives are generally harder. These were brutal, especially the predator maps. Trying to figure out how to complete some of the objectives to get all three medals was insane. Yes! Bronze Revenge. Obtained 24 medals on the Arkham City ranked maps. Yeah! Silver Revenge. So we obtained 48 medals on the original Arkham City ranked maps. We're so close to being done with the ranked maps for Batman. You're my last target. You're my last target. Yes! Yes! Let's go. Gold Revenge. Obtain all 72 medals on the original Arkham City ranked maps. With the ranked maps out of the way, all we had to do now was finish the campaign maps. This was the hardest part of the Platinum Trophy and an insane grind. Campaign maps are a combination of three different ranked maps, except now you have to do them all in one run and there are modifiers that you have to use. These modifiers can either make the maps harder or easier, and you have to pick and choose when you want to use certain modifiers for certain maps. So you gotta get three medals in all maps, which equals to nine medals in a campaign, with modifiers that now make them harder, and you only get three retries. If you mess up three times and you didn't get all nine medals, you have to start all over again. This in itself took me days to complete in between work. The grind was unreal, but eventually I found myself on the last map with only one retry left. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot! Screw this, I'm out. Oh my god. Oh my god. One HP in a dream, one HP in a dream. All right. Okay, I'm gonna stay hidden for a second. And knock this guy off. Get out of here. Okay, we're gonna chill for a second. We're gonna chill for a second. Shit. The problem is I'm 1 HP. I don't wanna run out there because there are little mines. I don't know where they're at, and I don't wanna even bother. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! No! 
with that death, I had to use my last retry. I did not want to start over. And after days of doing these campaigns, I just wanted my torment to end. So this was my last chance. Oh, it's my last try. Mm -mm. Come on, 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 come on. Same strat. Oh, this is very exciting. Who will win? We're gonna do this. Bring it around town. You are the rats running that phase like their lives depend on. Get out of here. Yes. That guy's down. That guy's down. <laughs> I don't know how many are left because the radar is jammed. Are we just gonna chill in there, dude? How many are left? Is it just him? Okay, carefully. Carefully. Take him out. Come on. Yes. Yes! Please! Campaign gold! Oh! Yeah! God! That sucked! Campaign gold! Whoa! Oh my lord! That was a nightmare! Oh, let's go guys. Hell yes. Now, normally we would be done and all I would have to do is beat the game on New Game Plus for the Platinum. But since I hate myself, I wanted to get 100% on all the DLCs as well, which means I had to do all of those challenges and campaigns that I just did again on three other characters. After having done this already with Batman, I kind of knew these maps inside and out, so this was just really a grind to get all three other characters done, but I did it eventually. After that, I just had to beat the game on New Game Plus. Dude, sick. Twice nightly, complete New Game Plus and finish all the side missions again for the Perfect Night 2.0 trophy and the Platinum. Okay, this should be it right here for the Platinum. All I gotta do right here is just beat Riddler. Between the Riddler trophies and the Riddler's revenge campaign challenges and all that stuff, <laughs> he is a nightmare. So it's actually pretty fitting that I'm gonna take him down for the Platinum here. Excuse me, sir. Just looking for a platinum trophy. What? Take him out. Yes. You're done, Riddler. Oh, it's happening. Perfect night, day two. Complete every challenge in Arkham City, main story, side missions, all of it. Done. The Platinum. Congratulations, 100%. What are you doing? You're in my way. Yeah, Riddler, suck it, dude. Oh my gosh, this guy made my life a living hell. And look at him. Trapped. Oh, it feels so good. This took two weeks of my life in between work, guys. Two weeks. This guy right here. But we did it. The Platinum for Arkham City. Yes. There it is, guys. The Platinum for Arkham City. Like I said, this took about two weeks of my life in between work. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe for more Platinum trophy hunting videos. And check out this video right here. Thanks for watching, guys.